What do you get when you put a group of fanboys in a room with a mic? From video games, comics, and movies to uncensored social commentary, nothing is off limits. With your hosts, Pistol Pete Jr., The Blue Guy, Chuck Bitch, G-Roll, and Player 2, this is The Real Press Start. So sit down, load up, log in, and press start. What's up, everybody? It's... Oh, the show's starting. The oh. show is starting. Oh, that was fast. Yes. Man, I remember it used to take like 30 minutes to set up. Just set up, right? Yeah, no. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you haven't been here since we had the new setup. Yeah, yeah, I haven't been here, man. Yeah, you're still using Guitar Hero microphones. Yep, we didn't have, yeah, we didn't have the newer mic. We yeah. didn't have an intro. Yeah, we had the shitty laptop that you had to prop against the wall because the screen was broken. <laughs> yeah. I yep. do remember that. Yeah. Yep. That's why it took so long. That was like a seven-year-old laptop. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, for those that don't recognize the voice, that is Mr. Paul Nocha. Yeah, it's been We're, a while. It's been quite a while. Yeah. Probably like a year. Yeah. Yeah. Little, yeah. Probably don't even know who you are. Probably not. Probably. Yeah, we probably lost that original fan base a long time ago. <laughs> a long time ago, with all the new people yeah. that have never heard you on the show. <laughs> so, we didn't do a show yesterday because uh, family celebrations and we were all hammered Shitty. drunk. Oh man, we were so fucked up. Yeah, yeah we were. Yeah. I was gone. I was obliterated after the first drink. Dude, yeah. <laughs> you know what? Man, that Jim Beam and Coke fucked Dude, my life up. I was pretty buzzed. Be- before we even went inside... And there was another bar. Oh yeah, I was already oh, fucked yeah. up before we went inside. Yeah, when the actual like, yeah, the dinner was, started. Was the bar outside a uh, open bar? Yeah, it was. Uh, it was an open. I think they just took bottles from like the bar inside and just yeah. set them out for like yeah, that little just, hour we were out like, there. Yeah, yeah, we had like four drinks in like Dude, an hour. The the best part though was was okay. Well, the cocktail hour was gonna start over here, and everyone starts wandering over there. It's like, <laughs> yeah. hey, do we have to pay? Okay. Little, <laughs> yeah. little by little, like. <laughs> okay. Like, everyone kept watching, watching and watching. It was like, hey, no one's paying. And then, like, the lines got really <laughs> long. <laughs> yeah. And I just kept hearing, like, the bartenders, like, what what can we put on their tab and stuff? I'm like, oh, man. Man, we're just, oh, man. Yeah. So much booze was drunk. Oh, man. That, oh, yeah. Just, just, yeah. There was, yeah. A just l- us alone. A lot. I'm pretty sure we, yeah. Dude, those, those, those red, uh, the rock stars and vodkas, man. Those oh, were, man. Gross. Those, those got me. Those got me. Because I went, I, I had, like, three or four of those. Then I went because I had I had like three fucking uh, uh, whiskey and cokes. Yeah. Then we went Rockstar and vodka. Oh, that's and right. And then I went yeah. back to whiskey and coke. Oh man. I was just like fuck. Yeah. I was fucking gone. Oh yeah. Oh man, I was fucking yeah. G roll. Yeah. Just rolling G-roll down the street. Was a beast. And rolling into the darkness. <laughs> rolling into the darkness. <laughs> that was awesome. Oh man. So I, I I got a couple of stories here, uh, just to kick it off. Fucking okay, so you guys know about Titanfall two? Mm-hmm. Well, is that a Pokemon? Oh. Yes. <laughs> the developer of uh, of Titanfall two accidentally started a fucking Twitter console war. Twitter uh, console war? Yeah. As in. They posted up a picture because they just they just went gold for their discs mm-hmm. for the for Titanfall two, and so they took a picture of the disc and tweeted it out. Well, they did they they tweeted out a PS4 disc. Mm-hmm. So, the fucking X Bros. As emotional as they are, uh, this is at Reese. Uh, no, this is uh, DK05. Well, thanks for crapping on X Pokemon fans. That was <laughs> their response to that picture. Dude, we're so gay. <laughs> it's a fucking video game. And, and like, Respawn was like, well, you know, then they, they tweeted the Xbox One because the Xbox One developer discs is just a green disc that they wrote oh, okay. Titanfall 2 on it. Yeah. It was like, <laughs> this is what the, the Xbox One disc looks like. The, the PlayStation One looks like the final, like, what we're going to be selling yeah, in the stores. Yeah. This is an ugly green disc that handwritten Titanfall <laughs> 2 on it. Which one <laughs> looks <funny>. better? <laughs> yeah. To present. Yeah. But the x Bros weren't having it. It says, uh... <laughs> We can all, this is someone else, uh, at John's Hiring. Probably know that game's just better because it's on PS4. Exactly. It's, it's, <laughs> it's going to be so much better because it's on PS4 now. But so this is, uh, this guy, at, uh, this is at John's Hiring, uh, res- uh, responding to Respawn. We can all agree on one thing. Uh, Respawn is what they are today because of Microsoft. And this is insulting to Xbox fans. Oh my god. Yeah. And so fucking, like, people were like... Just fucking going off. It was just a whole like 
Like, there was, like, a good fucking, like, 500 tweets. I, 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 I tried to grab as many as I could, but it's just people, like, like, why, why PlayStation? Why PlayStation? You guys are nothing without Xbox. Because oh, the wow. original Titanfall was an Xbox exclusive. Uh, wasn't, so, but, so they were, like... The first Titanfall wasn't that great. It wasn't that great. The, it was, the reason why they say that they are what they are is because they made uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Team Respawn. Oh, yeah, 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 right. They did. Modern Warfare 2. yeah. yeah. And for the beginning of that, uh, uh, that that game came out, everyone was saying it was the best Call of Duty. Yeah. But then something happened that the team got fired, whatever. There was like a developing issue or yeah. dispute. Yeah, shit happens like that all the and time. They, gaming industry. And they, they kicked him out of the of Infinity Ward. Mm-hmm. So, and then that, that game just went to shit. Like it got super buggy. It got... Yeah, well, because it wasn't yeah. the, the, the core team working on it anymore. Yeah. But, I mean... But for, for people to get like... Okay, like, and, 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 and Respawn came back with a really good, like, look at this is what the Xbox green disc looks like. Mm-hmm. You know, from a propulsion standpoint, which one would you rather post right. up? Mm-hmm. We're not going to post a green, the fucking green disc that looks like a bootleg because we just wrote Titanfall on it. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, well, this one has full color graphics on it. It has a, the final product, what it's going to look like in the box when you open it. The only difference is at the bottom has a little blue label that says PS4 on it. Yeah. That's the only fucking difference. Instead of having the green label that says Xbox One, and then fucking people went nuts. They lost their shit because mm-hmm. X Bros are fucking emotional as shit. Wow. <laughs> fucking X Bros. <laughs> um. Oh, more good news for PS4. What? Other than Titanfall, uh, and, and Respawn claiming their undying support for them for PlayStation uh-huh. Four. <laughs> uh, what kind of good news. Okay, Skyrim and Fallout Four are getting. Mods, after all, PS4. Oh, there. Yeah. They finally had a. Apparently, they they've come to agreement. It's gonna. It had to do something with the PS uh, PS4 Pro. Uh-huh. But like, there was this big story. All uh, Titan. Oh no, fucking my Titanfall. I'm still stuck on Titanfall. Yeah. <laughs> um, Fallout 4 and Skyrim are we gonna be able to get the PC mods on Xbox 360 or Xbox 360, Xbox okay. One. Oh. Okay. And they haven't been able to do this for PlayStation. And okay. because there was like a lot of issues. And now, finally, I guess they finally worked things out because uh, Bethesda, uh, Bethesda, thing came out and said like, flat out like, Sony's not working with us. No mods for the PS4s. Fuck it. Like, yeah, we, yeah, yeah. Yeah. we can't do it. And so finally, I guess they fix all the shit. Everything's good to go. And now they're gonna now they finally they're getting PS4 on Skyrim and Fallout 4. Oh, good for them. So, but they're getting full mods because like the Xbox One only gets like, there's a limit. Like like to the amount that they can upload in the mods. Okay. And so like so like these high res texture mods and stuff like that won't work on the Xbox because they're way too big. Yeah. yeah. The, the Xbox One can't handle high res. Yeah, it can't. It just <laughs> it just can't. It it only goes up to 900p. Really? Yep. Yeah. I thought it was like a big deal. Like they struggle so fucking hard when they try and go 1080p. Yeah. Oh wow. The game. The game it's like either frame rate or like frame yeah. Rate fucking no shit. It's decimated. Right. <laughs> But yeah, so that's crazy. I didn't know that. Yeah, they're getting better because it like it's, but it's fucked. Yeah. it's been out for so long. Already. Exactly. But see, but that's why they're doing the Xbox One S and Project Scorpio. Those are supposed to be the new. Oh really? Yeah. yeah. This, this like it's kind of well, and then PlayStation's coming out with a PS4 Pro, which is it's like the 4.5 pretty much. Mm. Are they yeah. really? What yeah. The heck? Yeah. And basically, what that's gonna be able to do is just it it could just do 4K resolution. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Games are already coming out with that. With they're 4K? Going. Yeah. They're about to. Coming in the next couple of months. Holy shit. Are they going to raise the prices on the games? No. They're going to keep them at $60? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Which is nice. Yeah. Um, and all, all the games that come out will still be able to You'll still be able to play them on a regular PS, PS4. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. yeah. But they're just, they're just capable of going higher. Yeah. Uh, PlayStation VR. PlayStation saying it's a one, it's one step... In a or step one in a very long journey. Oh, that too. The new PlayStation is for for the VR. Ah, oh, yeah. that'd be cool. They're sending the whole it's VR thing. It's gonna come thing. with like the glasses and everything. Yep. It, have you have you seen the, the PlayStation VR setup? No, I didn't even know it was a thing. <laughs> yeah, supposedly it's a it's a little bit heavier than most other. It's like uh, they say it's like three like, pounds heavier than most VR headsets. Well, like imagine like these headsets, and then there's like a big like visor around where like. You can see Thanks. It. So you're gonna look at it with your, like your head down. <laughs> You, know, you, you gotta, gotta do it while you're laying down you can on, like, your, on your bed. Everyone like kind of stands up. Like, just, like, ah. Yeah, full head motion. Well, 
Oh wow. Okay, and that is that. This is a concept, or that's made. That's, like, that's what it's gonna that's, look like. That's oh, what wow. it is, yeah. yeah, it comes out next. It comes out this month. Yeah. Does it really? Yeah. It comes Holy out like, shit. like where the fuck have week. I been? And um. <laughs> I've been in the military. Been in Kuwait, yeah. <laughs> I, I was in Kuwait, but. But jeez, we had internet. <laughs> like, <laughs> and what's cool, I don't. It's like you see all the lights on it and all that shit, and like the you know the light bar on the controller. All oh, that yeah, stuff, it'll accent. All that the stuff. Same. Yeah, well, it's all gonna accent the same. But what it's gonna do is the camera's gonna pick up all those light, and that's how it's gonna read where oh, you're at. Oh, son of a bitch. Like, cause everyone was bitching about when uh the PlayStation Four first came out, everyone was bitching about the light bar on the controllers because he, like. It fucking drains the battery because. Oh, it does. A, oh yeah, I mean it's a huge light on the yeah, top of the. Yeah, there's an option to like dim the light. You know? Oh yeah, I did that. But a lot I don't of know people, if that hadn't. Well, it, well, yeah, it, it makes does. Sense. A lot of people were like, "Oh, well, why can't we just turn it all off? Why can't we turn it off completely?" And there, there was, as a matter of fact, there was a whole market around people just buying like like there's these stickers that they're the shape of this light. Oh, just to cover them. But it, oh. it'll cover them, but it'll be like it'll be like the Batman logo or all kinds of like just little little oh, okay. shit. Yeah. But all those people that bought those stickers now are gonna be if they buy the PlayStation VR, yeah. are gonna have to take the stickers off to pay what it Because it uses the light. It uses that light as a tracker. So. Ah. <laughs> makes sense. But uh, yeah, a lot of people were just pissed. Like they they were covering them up and like they don't like that light for whatever. I like the light. I think it's cool. Yeah. Especially yeah. when it changes colors and shit, like you know. Oh yeah, that one is yeah. Cause like like, like what I like about it, it, it cause it's, it's kind of like the rumble. It's like it's so you don't notice it. Like it's not cause it's, it's on the back of the controller. Yeah. But you still kind of like 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 in certain games you get you'll take damage it'll flash red. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Or it'll, it'll do certain things and. Or cool. it'll tell you, it'll like kind of indicate what player you are. Yeah, it, it, it uh, indicates what player you are as well. And then um, like with like with The Witcher, depending on what like there's a uh, the game like you have different huh. types of magic and shit, and whatever magic you have highlighted, that's what color you're. The bar is... Yeah, so if, you, yeah, if you're using fire magic, it's red. If you're using, like, like the shield Wings. magic, it's orange. Yeah. Oh, that's dope. I, no, I noticed it changed colors when I play, but I didn't even put those two and two together. <laughs> yeah, it's certain things like... Or, like, even, like, in, in, like, the first couple PlayStation games, like, Infamous, if you were on the... If you chose the bad... Uh-huh. Oh, yeah, if you were more evil, it would... Yeah, yeah the controller would... Controller turn, would be red. It would turn red. Because it oh, starts yeah. off white, and, you know, like, whatever color you're... Like, if you're going to hero side, it gets darker, darker oh, blue. That's a, yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Well, you should start paying attention. <laughs> it's it's cool the shit that it does. I mean, it's it, and it's just one thing. It's like, like with the, when the Rumble first came on, like, like the rollback from the, yeah. the Starship Four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When those first came in, people were like, "Oh, it's, it's gonna be distracting. It's gonna be distracting." But like, you come to just notice it like as as, as immersive. Yeah. Like when the PlayStation Three first came out without Rumble controllers, it was a huge like you could notice oh, like you yeah. noticed that it wasn't there. You know what I mean? And all, all the way. Uh, 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 by the way, we apologize if there's any background noise. We are in the middle of a Family gets together. Uh, a, a post, a post wedding party. Uh, uh, yes, the post wedding. Yeah, <laughs> the post, post wedding post, reception post wedding. party. It's the after after party. Mm-hmm. So after, it's the day after. Um. Oh shit! And I don't know if you guys have you seen the the far point the the P, the the VR far point. No, it's. I don't. Know if, we've already talked about this. I don't follow VR that much. Yeah, that's because true. Because I think it's. I don't, th- I don't. Th- I don't think it's at a point where it's relevant right now. From what they well, from the games that you see, it's oh. very. They're very basic, and they're just like you're. You're walking around in a hallway. Well, that's how Pong started. Yeah, I know. <laughs> There's but, a game called like. Not a lot of people play Pong. People play this shit now. You don't know that. It's so fucking good. You don't know my life. You don't know how much milk I want in my cereal. You know how many video games I play? <laughs> there, there's, a, there's a game called Farpoint coming out that it, it's coming with a VR controller. Like, it's coming with its own controller. And that's a controller. Oh. Okay. It's, it's meant to be a rifle. Yeah. Okay. Right? But it's coming out with this game. Oh, cool. But uh, uh, apparently, it, it's going to have a shit ton of other games that are going to be coming out within a year of release. Oh, wow. Because like, a lot of people are, giving, are, are talking shit like... Like, why are you releasing this fucking... Because it's about... It's, it's the size of a small... Like like an SMG. Like a small rifle. Yeah, yeah, You know what yeah. I mean? And uh, uh, so, like, why am I going to buy this peripheral for one fucking game? Right, right. So, finally, PlayStation's like, no, we're going to have a shit ton of other games coming out with... So. Oh, nice. They're, they're, they're just, right now, they're hyping the shit out of VR. Because it's all... Uh, um, it's coming out next month. Or it's coming out this month. Yeah, so that is, like, that is true. Um, they haven't announced any of the games, but they're, they're saying there's going to be at least 15 more titles that are coming with it. And uh, there's a bunch of people that are exp- a bunch of uh, uh, companies expressing interest in it because it's gonna be one to one precision fucking like tracking. So oh, you move true. and it's gonna fucking move. It's yeah, gonna yeah. actually move in the game like like oh, a legit. Man. So I need proof. 
Yeah, that's yeah. true. I, I need to experience it first. Um, For Honor. Have you, have you seen For Honor? Oh, fuck, you haven't even known. You didn't even know about VR. I doubt you've seen yeah. For Honor. Oh, yeah. I, I honor all the fours. No, I, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Yeah, there's a game called For Honor. It's basically uh, samurais versus Vikings versus knights. No shit. Yeah. Yeah, it's all sword play. It's fucking bad. It looks bad. It looks no fucking bad. shit. And it's but the thing too that's a trip about it is it's not just one on one. So like if if us three are playing it, yeah, there's an entire like you have an army, I have an army, and then this whole army is battling each other. Yeah. yeah. We're hunting each other down on yeah. the battlefield. Oh You're wow. like a yeah, you play like a general or whatever. Yeah. yeah. And you could go around fighting the other generals. Or you can fight the like little grunts that are fighting each other. Oh no shit! Yeah. That sounds pretty dope. It, oh, it looks. This is a VR fun. game, or this is no? This is just a, this a regular, regular game. game. What, it's already out. Not yet. It's oh. It comes out in uh, February or March. Oh, that's yeah. cool. But one of the big features that I was kind of looking forward to, especially because I don't have internet right now, uh. is uh, split screen. This one was gonna be one of the few games that bring back split screen. Nice. So you could say, but they just canceled it. They just say like, you know what? We're not gonna be able to run split screen. Split, so split screen. Happy, we can run split screen. But if we do, the number of people in the battlefield are gonna it's gonna shrink down because split screen. Because a lot of people don't realize what split screen does is when you're playing a split screen game, it's not just like here's two separate screens. Yeah. It's le- it's legit like re-rendering everything for right. both screens. Both, yeah. You know what Which I mean? Which is yeah, it takes a lot. Yeah. So it, it it's like it's, it's literally doubling what what you're processing. You know. Yeah. So it's like okay, we can still do it, but like okay, if you want hundreds of fighters on the battlefield. Yeah. Well, then we're gonna have to cut this, which I'm okay with, I guess. But it still kind of bums me out a little bit. Yeah. You know, um, I'm still looking forward to this fucking game. Comes out February 14th, and uh, nice. yeah, and they're saying it was a feature they loved and they wanted to do it, but it just it it it, it just lowered the 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 gameplay value by adding it. That makes so. sense. Yeah. Uh, Bloodstained Ritual of the Night is finally getting its own publisher. Um, the creator of Castle, you remember the original Castlevania games? Yeah. Okay, and then the the, play, the one on the PlayStation, uh, Symphony. Sure, yeah, yeah. The, 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 that was like one of the best fucking Castle. Mm-hmm. The creator of that game, he left uh, uh, Konami, and he's working on his own now. Okay. He had a Kickstarter for, it's pretty much that game, mm-hmm. but modern up and like just redone. Oh, and dope. It's, but, it, it's, but, but because he doesn't work for Konami anymore, he can't make it Castlevania. So it's called Bloodstain uh, Ritual of the Night. Ah. Uh, and uh, he was trying to get, he was trying to get it funded through Kickstarter, and I think they reached their goal, but they were still having, they were still kind of short of actually getting it okay. done. But now they have a, dev- a, a publisher that's going to be working nice. with them. So the game's going to be coming out. They haven't released an announced date yet. Oh, okay. What if, what if it ends up being like a mighty number nine? Where no one gives a fuck? Yeah. Where it's a huge disappointment and. Shits on the, and it shits on the crew. Yeah, it, it might. Mighty, Mighty Number no. Nine was uh, the original Mega Man creators game after he left uh, Capcom. Capcom. Yeah, and it was absolute shit. Really? Yeah. yeah. Well, because it's like everyone was, I don't uh, that. everyone was expecting a Mega Man game. Yeah. And it was like if they got a Mega Man game and pissed on it, like, like to, they pissed on it to water it down. Like, oh wow, <laughs> shit. <laughs> Like someone gave you a coke and pissed in it. Yeah. Did this. yeah. <laughs> like oh, mm, this tastes great. Like you're expecting the coke, but yeah, no, it, it's yeah. I mean, because I mean, he tr- they tried to add shit to it that it didn't need. They took away stuff from it that it needed. Yeah, and it yeah, just yeah. kind of like. And I, I think because it was such a cluster in them getting it developed and like they, because I know they were struggling. Uh huh. With Capcom. They got pushed back like three years. Yeah. Oh, okay. Like a shit ton of time. They, they they were having a lot of issues during the oh, development. Wow. And so when it finally did come out, it was like, eh, you yeah. know what I mean? But cause I, I think, though, because, like, I like the Mega Man games, but go back and play one of those Mega Man games now. They're, like, they're still fun. Yeah, yeah. But they're not, like... Wow. Yeah. Whereas, whereas to me, at least to me, Symphony of the Night is one of those games I can still go back and play today, uh-huh. and I still enjoy it. I still have a lot of fun playing it. Yeah, yeah. You know, so... I don't know about you guys. Like, uh, I don't know. I haven't, I haven't played any of those Nintendo and... Games in a long never time. Played that game. You've never played that game. You've never played something like that? you got to... Um, do you ever... You can log in on Michael's PlayStation, right? Uh, yeah. Do you ever log in on, uh, on your PS3 anymore? At all? No. no. Okay, because I was like, Michael has it on the PS3. You can play it. Oh, he does? Yeah. It's fucking awesome. Um, I still play it on my, my, on my PSP. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Uh, no, but yeah, so they got a developer, so that shit's fucking awesome. It's going to be a 2.5 action-adventure game. 
So a 2.5D, I'm sorry. Meaning it's still it's in the side scroll, but it's going to have that like fucking 3D kind of feel. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah so, um, And it's pretty much the original team that made the, that Castlevania Symphony of the Night. All those guys that worked mm -hmm. on that one originally yeah. are working on this game. Oh, cool. So it's pretty cool. Um, oh, shit, have you guys heard about this? Uh, there's a developer, a Steam developer, that was making a game. And apparently the game fucking sucked. The game was shitty. You got one-star reviews from anyone oh, that shit. bought it. Mm -hmm. Well, the developer was like, like, the developer ended up taking such a bad hit off of this that uh -huh. they went out of business. Oh, okay. So the guys that were that own the development company now are suing Steam, and they're trying to get the personal information of all the users that gave them a one-star rating so they can sue them. Really? Yeah. Oh shit. And Steam's That's, like, we what don't. What the fuck? Yeah. Well, you gave you gave us a shitty game. We're yeah. gonna give you shitty ratings. Yep. We're not gonna fucking oh, you know. It's an okay game. I'm gonna yeah, give, yeah. You know, we're not going to give you fucking five stars for shit. Yep. We're not, you know what I mean? That's like one of the things like, when we tell people, by the way, if you are listening, go to iTunes and Stitcher and Steam and wherever. Not Steam. I don't know why I said Steam. But anyway, all the shit that we're on. <laughs> I mean, you can review us on Steam. You can you, just go to a random game. You go to a random like, game and tell people, hey, fucking. Fuck it's, it's a pretty good podcast. <laughs> but yeah, just, go out there and just go it. to. They don't have a podcast on Steam. But like, <laughs> if you find them. Find them. You can find them in a bunch. Just Google. Google. Okay. But if you go and rate us. And, and listen. We, we, we don't ask you to rate us five stars. If, if you believe we feel if, like we, we, we deserve five stars, give us five stars. Do you think we get, deserve one star? We won't sue you. Give us one star. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, give us, tell us why. Tell, give us one star and tell us why the fuck you think we get one star. Yeah. Maybe right. we can fix it. Yeah, maybe. Not, maybe, maybe it yeah. works. Yeah. <laughs> um, so anyways, fuck your Yankee blue jeans. Yeah, fuck your Yankee blue jeans. <laughs> We have to say it at least once in the episode because yeah. yeah. people can know like why the why the fuck is this episode name? name? <laughs> fuck is it? Yep. You're a Kanye West. Oh man. Oh man. Um. So yeah. So this developer is it's there. Originally they they requested from Steam. Hey, we want these people's names. Oh man. And they were like, why do you want these people's names? Yeah. So we can sue them. Well, fuck you guys. We don't give out. We Which don't give out people's names. That's, that's private information. We're not just going to fucking give it to you. Especially so you can fucking sue these people. That's yeah. fucking... That would be stupid on our part because, you know... That, yeah. A bunch of people would be like, oh, fuck Steam. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. And then they get sued them. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Sure. And now now this developer is suing Steam because they're saying that... They don't because, give us for their names. Well, they're, giving, they're asking for the names and they they're asking for, for damages now. Because because since they're not giving them the names, yeah. they have to proceed and we're losing more money now. Oh, my God. Yeah, but they want to sue because well, they're trying to make a shitty game. Exactly. Let me see. I'm going to see what the name what the, what was the name of this fucking game. Um, oh, it was only two dudes. It was two dudes. Made, they made their own studio. Uh, Digital Homicide was the name of the studio. Well, it sounds... Oh. I was like, that sounds like a shitty game. Yeah. And the game was called... Uh, where'd it go? Where'd it go? It sounds like a shitty developer. Oh, Pokemon? Yeah, it was Pokemon. Po Pokemon's <laughs> a good game, yeah. It was a phenomenal game. The Slaughtering, Ga Slaughtering Grounds is, what is the game that they... they Slaughtering really Grounds? Yeah, it's not even like an innovative name. No, no. They should just make it free on Steam. <laughs> and this is what they're saying. Uh, oh, they're looking for $10.7 million from Steam. Son of a bitch. Yeah, that's a lot of fucking money. Fuck yeah. And they want to sue over 100 different users that... Oh, I mean, that's a lot. Yeah, and they're saying, as far as, this is this is a quote of, of one of the guys. As far as digital homicide, it's destroyed. It's been stomped into the ground from a thousand directions, and, and use is discontinued. So, like, they feel like everyone just shit on them, and yep. that's everyone else's fault. <laughs> so, yeah. Batman Arkham VR. Ooh, that yeah. would be freaking dope. As Every, fuck. Everyone's fucking going crazy about that. Dude. Yeah, it looks. Have you seen any Hopefully of the? Hopefully, it doesn't the game? suck. The gameplay looks fucking cool. The only the thing I, and I get it because wait, it's so how do they get the gameplay to to if it's on that thing? Like well, and they they still what they do is they they just take because it's it's two images. Uh huh. Like uh, you know they're at slight different angles. Yeah. Make. But so what they do is they just merge those images and put them onto the screen so you can watch it. Like oh a, shit! Yeah, that's how, that's how you that's how they. You're like it. watching it in first person. Oh, that makes yeah. sense. Yeah, that's the thing. Um, so they announced how long the story is gonna be. It's gonna be an hour long story, the story mode. So I mean that's cool, cause it's a VR game. You don't want to be like you know what I mean, like, uh... like with the, with Batman Arkham Knight. Yeah. That was like a what a sixteen hour story maybe. Yeah. Which I mean that's a that's that's a decent sized story yeah. for, for a video game. 
an hour long. That's kind of short, but again, it's VR, so it's kind of like true. Like how many kids are gonna be out there actually being active, or like yeah. they'll play like five minutes and like oh, I'm tired. And they're not gonna and, and they're but and they're not charging you sixty bucks for this game. So which is you yeah. know what I mean? Oh, it's not gonna be. It's gonna be a uh, forty. Twenty nine. Thirty. <laughs> no, twenty bucks. Twenty bucks in the U.S. That's not bad. Though. So that's true for an hour every time. Yeah. So it'll it'll pay, take. But the, is it different storylines? Like can you like. No, it's gonna be it's just, just one core same. story. Uh, the core narrative same. is about sixty minutes, and then to like to unlock everything and all the Are side. Are there quests. alternate endings? Yeah. There's no alternate, but there's a bunch of side quests and Bullshit. just just like the other oh, games. Okay, yeah, yeah. So you, you got about an hour and a half of gameplay on top of that is what they're saying. So it's the first time. It's you know it's one of the first. That is true. Yeah. You know, so there's and that's why they're tra- only charging you twenty bucks. Like, um, right. <laughs> you know. <Yeah. laughs> <Dick>. <laughs> Fuck your Yankee Blue Jeans. <laughs> um, Did you play Pokemon Go at all? No, so I downloaded it, but I never like yeah. I never had my phone and to like enough to play it. So like I Give never him played it. Shutting us about fucking Pokemon Go. Well, you have it. No, I I, I have official. I, I downloaded we, one. We, first talk, we have a, like three topics about Pokemon Go every <laughs> fucking week. I think I only got one this week. It won't fucking stop every <laughs> single time. I, I, I only got stop. one. I only got one this week. Um. When it, when that game first came out, it was fucking nuts. Yeah. Everyone was playing that Fuck shit. Yeah. I we went to, to dude. Comic Con. Dude, everyone's walking around with their fucking phones and shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It was, there's it was... like there's like uh, something in the game called a, a lure, where like yeah, you yeah. put on the on the spots mm-hmm. and it'll attract more Pokemon. Right. Every single uh, spot in that in the area was yeah. fucking. Yeah. Oh my god. Up. You know how like when you put the lure, you see those fucking the pink petals. And yeah, shit? sure. Yeah. Like yeah. the whole map was just pink oh, fucking petals yeah. everywhere. That's funny. It was nuts. Man, good thing. Was there a man? So, like, in, when we were in Kuwait, like, in the center of the base of Camp Beering, there's a big water tower or whatever, mm-hmm. and uh, just one day, I and, I, you know, I, it didn't hit me at first mm-hmm. until one of my uh, Joes told me, like, yeah, it's a gym there. But anyways, like, <laughs> I thought, like, units were, lined, I mean, like, just like, chilling, like, getting ready for PT yeah, or whatever, yeah, yeah. because there were just, like, kids sitting, set, sitting around, like, in 120-degree weather, like, just... Sitting on their phones, like some some people had bikes, so I was like, oh, maybe they're doing like a little five k or just gonna do a quick run. Yeah. But no, it was like constant, like they were just sitting there. I was like, man, the crowd's getting bigger and bigger. Yep. Just sitting there. Yeah. I'm like, <laughs> what are they doing? And then uh, you know, at first I didn't. I worked a lot of nights, so I I hardly saw it. And then <clears> one of my Joe was was like, yeah, it's freaking uh, that's, 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 that's there's a gym there. I was like, oh my god, no shit. Dude. That makes so much sense. And you just see a bunch of dumbass kids like walking around with their phones, yeah. getting jacked up. It's when funny. that game first came out, like I I work I work graveyards in Huntington Beach, uh-huh. and where I work, there's a bunch. It's like a bunch of offices, but there's like weird architecture and like some statues and stuff at some. Oh of the, yeah, yeah, we passed by it. Okay, yeah. yeah. So like, there's like three or four poker stops. All oh this. shit. In, in, in the they're just little side streets, and like unless you're going to one of these businesses, yeah, no one ever really. fucking. Either you're going back there to do to do donuts in your fucking car, or yeah. you're going back to one of these businesses, you know. <laughs> And it's fucking three in the morning, so no one's going back there to yeah. fucking work. And I'll be riding around, and I, was, I just see fucking people on bikes and fucking like. And this is like I said, two, three in the morning, people just rolling up, hitting oh, these fucking pogo stops, and like you hit them every five minutes. So there was there was these cars that were just coming out, just doing circles, like just wow. hitting all through because they were they were all within like, like from here to the corner, down to the next corner, and then oh back. wow, you know okay, what I mean? yeah. So people were just like, yeah. It changed it to where like you got to be right on top of it now. Oh yeah, yeah. So you can't so you can't drive around. Oh yeah. But uh, but yeah, that was a craze, man. I was freaking. I was like, oh my. But then it got so glitchy, and a lot of people stopped playing. Oh yeah. Like I, I, oh, finally, yeah. I finally uninstalled After that like shit. After like a month, people were just like, yeah. yeah and uh, like uh, the tracking, the tracking feature got fucked up, where uh, like you could see like how close Pokemon were, but then like all of them were fucking far as fuck from you. Yeah. And like like none of them were even like remotely close to you. Yeah. Or. Like it's just a bunch of bullshit. One of the things, one of the things, like I, I tried playing again recently when they, because they added the buddy system now, where like you have a Pokemon, it's your buddy, and he follows you around on the map. Oh. Because you know how you get the candies and shit. Sure. Yeah. Well, that's how you, because like the only way to get candy originally was like you trading your Pokemon. Uh, but, like okay. if you got oh, a rare right, Pokemon, yeah. you're not gonna fucking trade that fucker in, yeah. and you're not gonna get any candy for him, so you can't level them up. Uh. So, but now they have that. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I, I tried playing it and like right now because a lot of people have been crashing and driving and shit like yeah playing, so that now there's a feature where like if you're driving too fast it says you're going too fast are you a dri- are you driving or don't don't drive in Pokemon are you and then they like, get the click I'm a passenger, passenger. Or, yeah you know but like the tracking on the GPS is still so fucking shitty I was walking and I'm I'm walking and and all of a sudden like it's I guess it wasn't tracking me 
and then all of a sudden my the, the GPS like, like okay you were here and now you're over there so it went and I get the pop up you're going too fast I'm like motherfucker <laughs> 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 that's a good one so uh i find I, I just recently uninstalled it but they're yeah. getting desperate now so uh um, because they're still making like two million dollars a fucking day on that game oh, that's literally ridiculous. that's their, that's what their income is on that game but it's like man but uh they're still getting no desperate cool shit. yeah they can't fight or yeah they haven't they still haven't put in the cool shit like they from the beginning they said that you could be able to fucking battle people yeah. and trade and everything they're still working on trading yeah you know, still, like they still haven't done that shit they're, that's a whole point they're already, they're already on they're already trying to put in the like the the second second uh, the, what is it the Jodo, the Jodo League the Jodo League no, the the second generation oh yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, okay yeah that makes sense but um what the, what they're talking about now is because but dang that game's gonna start ending up being like a big ass fucking file on your phone oh hell yeah it's gonna, it's be, gonna be ridiculous yeah. but now they want to start increasing the odds is. of uh, rare yeah. Pokemon showing up. Because not, I guess not enough people are playing it. And, like, everyone's bitching. It's like, I have, like, a fucking million Pidgeys. Yeah. But, like, I have, I've you know, I haven't seen any fucking rare Pokemon. Like, me, I haven't seen any fucking... I have a super low fucking... Like, I was playing for a while. Like, uh-huh. every day I was playing. And I was, I'm, like, I'm Huntington yeah. Beach. And I, I'm going to all kinds of different yeah, places. Yeah, yeah. And I'm not catching... I'm catching the same shit. Yeah. You know? And the higher level you are, it's supposed to be, like, the more rare Pokemon will come up. And yeah, you're yeah. still getting fucking P- Pidgeys at the max level at fucking, like, 40 or something. Yeah, exactly. Like, <laughs> so I guess they're finally fixing that shit. Um, and also, at some point, like the Pokemon are just impossible to fucking catch. Like, <laughs> uh, I never, man, that game is ridiculous. And they're also gonna give you different. I guess it's based on the different medals and shit that you've got in the game. Uh huh. But like for an example, like for Pidgey, is both normal and flying type. Your bonus in this case would be the average of your normal flying type. Oh, so, like, so when you catch different Pokemon now, so, like, you have a different, you have, like, a million Pidgeys? Yeah. The next Pidgey you catch is gonna fucking, it's, it's gonna be stronger based on all the fucking... Pidgeys you have. Yeah, flying, well, all the flying, oh, flying. and normal type Pokemon oh, okay. you have, so it's gonna, you know. I guess, still okay. But still, yeah. It, it's not fucking, like... And, like, I think we talked about it one, one episode, I don't know if we did it on the show or not, but, like, to me, the biggest thing about Pokemon, like, when you play the, did you play the old Pokemon games? Oh, yeah, games, of course, right? yeah. Well, those games, the biggest thing about it is, like, okay, you caught, like, your starter. That was, like, that was your fucking go-to Pokemon. Yeah. You, you raised that motherfucker, you got him strong, and he was always in your fucking team. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. You didn't just, like, I got this fucking Squirtle. Oh, shit, I caught another Squirtle. This Squirtle, but fuck you, Squirtle. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. You know, but with these ones, it's like, okay, I caught a Pidgey. Oh, I caught another Pidgey. This one's stronger. Fuck that Pidgey. Yeah, yeah. I caught another Pidgey. This one's... And it's like, fuck, it was it's like, like you, you just... don't build it up, it's just, yeah. oh. Pidgey oh, it was on, it was on the show. It was like, remember? Pidgey, you're my best friend. <laughs> <laughs> you're my like each new po- stronger yeah. Pokemon. You're my best friend. And you're just getting rid of the last fucking guy, like you know, like you even turn like him into a candy. Yeah. To, a candy. <laughs> the, to feed to your next. Yeah. The, like like when they added that buddy feature, I just all I did, I went straight to my strongest Pokemon. Boom. Yeah. You're yeah. my best friend. <laughs> like fuck, man. Like I think it it takes away from the core of the game. Yeah. It's not oh, about. Yeah. And, like, you can only train the Pokemon so much. Like, yep. you can only get them to, like, okay, I got this guy. I got to give him candy. Here's more candy. Here, okay, I'm out of candy. Now he's stuck here. It's not like... I can take him to the gyms and train him, but it's like... If he's shitty... Yeah. Like, this is my strongest guy, but he's still he's shitty. shitty. Yeah. I'm not going to be... Like, cause you, you, even if, if I take him to the gym and I lose, I don't get anything for that. Right. I have to win. Yep. And, like... Fuck this Pidgey. <laughs> 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 Fucking go gust your way over there. <laughs> uh... Oh, fucking Xbox Scorpio. Uh, Phil Spencer, the president of Xbox, he's come out and be like, he's like, don't worry about the, the price of X, uh, Project Scorpio. We're not going to announce it yet. It's going to be expensive, but don't worry about it. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it's it's going to be expensive. Don't worry about it. He says it's, he says it's not going to be too much ex, too much more expensive, or it's and not going to cost remote. it's not going to cost too much more than the current gen the current systems. So, mm-hmm. so he says, don't worry about it. You better, you better find my remote. But yeah, it's 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 like fucking. It's a, we feel like it's a premium product, a premium console, and not something, and not something anything more than that. Because of this, Xbox boss said, people shouldn't be worried about the thing that's going to make them. What the fuck? This is really fucked up. Because of this, you shouldn't be worried that this thing is going to be unlike any console price you've ever seen. We didn't design it that way, so don't worry about it. Huh. So he's pretty much saying is it's. You know, 
you're you're getting what you're paying for. Yeah. Right? So don't worry about the goddamn price. Like it's gonna, you know, it's gonna be great. Apparently. Yeah. It's just it's just weird. You know what I mean? It, like he started he started saying this because um, when PlayStation they just did this uh and they just did that uh. PlayStation Four like when they announced the pre the Pro. Yeah. They talked about the pricing and everything like that. Uh -huh. Whereas Xbox really hasn't said anything about the pricing of the S or the Scorpio. Yeah. So like so the, this is the day after they're like okay well now we know the place of place the price of PlayStation Four yeah what's the, what's Scorpio gonna cost don't, don't worry, worry about it, it. Yeah. <laughs> fucking worry about it why the fuck are you get the fuck out of here I have a, I have a feeling it was just, it was, it's probably just like when PS4 and Xbox One first came out yeah we're like I bet the Scorpio is actually a hundred dollars more uh, probably and fuck it. it like the the Xbox One S would be the same price uh, and they were thinking yeah. like. This one's stronger, so maybe we should give it, make it more expensive. Yeah. And then, and then uh, Sony's just like, well, we wrote, we lowered the price on our current yeah. PS4. We'll put the, we'll just put the one that we we're releasing at the old price. Like, which is which is smart, you know what I mean? Yeah. Because the PS4 is still outselling Xbox. Oh yeah. It's you know I think Temple. last month it beat Xbox finally beat them. They've like in this current generation. From the day PS4 and Xbox were released, yeah, yeah, PS4 has been beating it except for like three months. Oh, really? And like it was like in three years, yeah. In three years, yeah. And it's only been like okay, like when uh, when the when oh, when the shit happened with PlayStation, what they no, not even that because oh, that was that, like, like, like when Halo before? came out, yeah, like, like when, Halo, when, when uh, the latest Halo came out, and Gears Xbox of War, said, probably, yeah. Yeah. yeah, Gears of War is probably gonna jump up when the new Gears comes out, yeah. um, and shit like that. But yeah, but fucking. My guess, uh, PlayStation is spending on this this generation. Oh yeah. Um, I think when the S comes out, it's gonna they're gonna be a big jump, but I still don't think they're gonna you know they then. Sony's kind of fucking up a little bit, but at the same time they're, like they just raised the price of PlayStation Plus. I saw that because I just renewed mine like I don't know yeah, last it's, week. It's sixty dollars now, so yeah, it's, it's the same as. On Amazon though, it was like fifty two dollars. <laughs> Oh, so it was, it was always... something, yeah. It was like a few dollars cheaper than what it was buying it for on the PlayStation. Oh, nice. I just don't like putting my credit card information on Sony anymore. I don't trust them. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I always buy the cards now. Oh yeah. Yeah. I go go to Seven Eleven. Yeah. It's twenty bucks. Yeah. <laughs> Give me a card. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then uh, oh, speaking of Gears of War, Gears of War Four is going to include in-game rewards for pl uh, players of the previous Gears game. So if you've been an OG Gears of War fan and you've been playing since the beginning. There's gonna be a bunch of shit that are uh, exclusive to you. Exclusive to you and only you. Uh, if you've been playing for, since the first one, you're gonna get a legacy emblem and a bunch of extra weapons that you won't get unless you've been fucking down. But how does it know? I guess your game. I don't know. I guess your your no your your Xbox your gamer tag. It you know tracks all your shit. Oh, that, that, yeah, you but do you have to like? Like get, uh, I don't know. And it looks like, and and, and based on what I'm, what I'm. Because like, here, if you just have a game assigned to you, like, oh, I I played this four years ago, and you didn't really like beat the game yet or whatever. Like, say you did have the first Gears of War, but you're like, oh. You know, yeah, we'll see. That's the thing too. Is, is based on your achievements in the previous achievement. games. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah. Is going right. to go to unlocking and all these new. And the, on top of that too, it's also going to count when you unlock those achievements. So if you okay, Gears of War four is coming out. I'm just going to go buy the first Gears of War. Ah, it's still gonna, like, yeah, you're yeah. not considered a legacy member. Yeah, you, right. you're gonna get some of the perks for having that game and having these achievements, yep. but you're not gonna have that legacy shit. From I, I bought it fucking day one playing yep. with it. Yeah, so I mean that's kind of cool, I, and that, that's that's cool to reward like your loyalty. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, anytime I think anytime a game does something like that, like like little things, like even with the first Metal Gear, like uh, uh, when you when that first battle with Psycho Mantis. You, if you're playing, if you have another Konami game saved on that memory card that you're playing, and then Psycho Mantis reads your mind, he'll be like, "You like Castlevania, don't you?" Like, you know what I mean? Really? Yeah. Like, you, the... like, or if you, like, yeah. Oh, that's okay. Yeah, I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Like there was, I forget what Konami, because I didn't have Castlevania. I had another Konami game, but like he called out, he's like, "Oh, you're a fan of this game." Yeah. And I'm like, "Oh wow, what the fuck?" It's <laughs> <laughs> like, how did you know? <laughs> that's funny. The time it was fucking mind blowing. <laughs> uh, uh, and then speaking of more Gears of War, they're going to be doing a Gears of War movie. Really? Yeah. Weird. It's been confirmed. Gears of War movie. Um, no writer or director has been announced yet, and they will not confirm... Con they're not going to confirm when in the game, when in the story, or where in the universe is going to take place. But they're doing it. Um, 
I think it's cool. Like the the story is gonna is like a. The story is, is cool enough. Like it, it's one of those games that has a decent story, so I think it can it would make a good movie if they do it right. Yeah. You know what I mean. But video game, man, video game movies are hit and miss, though. You know what I mean. I think. Well, they just did what, Warcraft. Did anyone? Did have you guys seen it? I haven't seen it. I, I've seen heard it. people who don't even know anything about the video game. Mm-hmm. They're like they thought the movie was okay. Yeah, like, I've like it's it. something like oh. It, it's not, yeah, it's it's not been, shitty. It, it was very hit and miss. Yeah, but like I guess I don't know. I guess From, gamers didn't like it. Yeah, that, that's what I heard. <laughs> I heard if you I, if you played World of Warcraft, you yeah. hate the movie. Yeah. But if you never played it, you'll like the movie. So maybe that's what they wanted. Maybe. <laughs> but see, and that's one of the things we talk about. So we talk about this constantly. It's like whenever there's a new uh, a video game movie, like comic book movies recently in the recent years, they've gotten shit right. They realize mm-hmm. okay. Oh yeah, they they're starting to follow storyline or do crazy things. Like, yeah, but they're they, yeah. even if they change storylines up, they're changing them to a point where it's like okay, like. They're not going to. They're not making yeah. this a new fucking character. It's yeah. a character I oh, know yeah. and love. Like even with Luke Cage. Have you? Oh, okay. oh no, I haven't got it. I, man, I'm hearing oh, super great things about you, it. You guys gotta watch Luke Cage. Yeah. That shit is fucking on point. They changed his. They changed his, his uh, uh, uh story up a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But oh, fuck, it's such a good series. Like Daredevil was good. The first yeah. season of Daredevil yeah. was really good. Yeah. Second season Daredevil was really was still was okay yeah. but still really good. Because they brought in Jones, like Punisher. And yeah. Brought, yeah. Jessica Jones was good. I I I, I, I want I have that on my list. I haven't got it yet. That one that one it. starts off really slow. Uh huh. But once shit starts hitting the fan, shit hits the fan. Yeah. Luke Cage, man, fucking first episode. Yeah. Shit is fucking badass. Yeah. So everyone keeps saying I gotta catch that. There's this one scene when he goes to break up this like he just like he he just goes on full on hero mode and he goes and like. Like he's always with this hoodie, with this hoodie and, and headphones, right? And at one point he's going to uh, bust up this fucking like, like I guess this is where they're all storing the money, you know? Uh-huh. And, and like the part of the story's been leading up to this, and like, you know shit's about to go down. And he throws on the fucking headphones, and it's that the uh, the Wu Tang Challenge style. <laughs> and it, like, it just kicks in all that fucking. Yeah, yeah. Bring the motherfucking rocket, like that whole that. No and, like, shit. And it just, oh man, the way he did, like the way the, cause he's walking up, well, well you know that Wu Tang, yeah, the, the yeah. intro, the kung fu intro is going on. He's walking up, walking up, and all of a sudden he fucking like, as soon so, as he kicks in the door, yeah. bring the motherfucking and, like the that's music. Pretty, just, that's, oh, that's pretty cool. And, like they did it so well, and like the, and then like a lot of the music they do uh-huh. is like, it's like it's a lot of modern hip hop or like old like some of that shit. Yeah. But then at the same time, it's like that that seventies. Oh yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> he's in Harlem. <laughs> yeah. Like you, like it feels like a mix between Shaft yeah. and some fucking like like I I I, I kind of want uh, show enough to show up. You see you've seen a, uh, not, it's not Enter the Dragon. What's the name of that one? Oh God. And what does what does Luke Cage do? He has like fucking he's like he, indestructible skin. Or yeah, he's he's unbreakable. He's got super strength and he's unbreakable. Yeah, is the right, way they right. describe it. Like yeah, he's bulletproof. He's fucking you know. <laughs> and, and oh man, it's it's fuck it's it's so good. It's it's so far it's the best one. All right. Oh really? Yeah. Oh shit. Yeah, like. Dead, like I said, the first the first season of Daredevil was really really good. Yeah. It still took me a couple ep- episodes to get yeah, into it. Yeah, me too. Uh, season two of Daredevil was good, and again, yeah. it, but it took me a couple episodes to like get into it. Jessica Jones, it took almost as, like the whole. It, it's like the last three episodes is where it's like, okay, this is like the payoff is worth it. Yeah. You know, Luke Cage, fucking first episode. Yeah. Bam! It's like, God. Oh, that's good. They fucking did a great job on it, and then like it is it, it, it does a good job of like. It's it's like it makes you hate the villains, like uh-huh. it like it makes you fucking hate these motherfuckers, yeah, yeah, yeah. like you know. And then it like, but then at the same time, he's like you kind of feel like okay, because there's certain points where it's like okay, fuck, I kind of feel bad for this guy now. Yeah. But then like, and it's got fucking uh, it's got juice in it from fucking uh, from, from Son- Sons of Anarchy. Yeah, fucking really? juice is in it. <laughs> and, and he's a no badass shit. in this one. Oh really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's pretty funny. I didn't know that. Yeah, I'll, I, I'm gonna check it. Yeah, out. Yeah, I definitely. I, I if you guys haven't check it out. Have um, you seen uh, Westworld yet? No. So the first episode. Is it good? Yeah, it was pretty good. I saw the movie fucking, way uh, fucking back, but fucking Trevor from GTA was in it. Oh, nice. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna well, check. He, he he was in it. He oh, was he in the first episode. Yeah, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I take it he doesn't survive the episode, but. Yeah. Well, the the way the way the way the show works, he they come back every every. Oh, okay, okay. Like yeah. it cycles, like you. Like uh, it's simulated through the day, and then like the the uh, created people reset. So like the they they follow like some guy on a train, and he comes into a bar and he's looking for this girl. Oh, uh, okay, and okay. He, and he finds the girl, and then the and then like the guy come and some guy comes. He fucking he fucking kills his parent, kills the girl's parents uh-huh. at her house, and then fucking goes and rapes her. Oh shit. Like, <laughs> 
I'm gonna have to check that shit out. Yeah, because I, I, the I, I remember the, the original who, like pay for it can't can't get hurt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the guy was and the and the guy was like shooting him and he was just standing. There. Oh, nice. Yeah, I'm gonna have to check that one out. Oh, and then uh. Ash vs. Evil Dead season two. Oh was yeah, started. have you man? I know I haven't even seen the right. first. I didn't that know first the first episode thing. was fucking. Great. I didn't even know that was a thing. So, there was yeah. a lot of fucking blood. Yeah. Have, you seen, yeah, have you seen the first season? No, no, I didn't even know that was like. Dude, CJ yeah. just told me about it, and I was like, it's fucking they, hilarious. They made dude. a show? What? Yeah, yeah. Are, are you, like, yeah, dude, it's pretty funny. I'm like, what the fuck? You're a fan <laughs> of the, the original series. Yeah, right? yeah. If you, if you like the original the yeah. movies and yeah. Army of Darkness, they they Sam Raimi directs the first three episodes, I think, of the season. Okay. But they. The, the fucking the pace of the stories the way it's written everything yeah like, he says it, it's, fu- it's funny it's, it's fucking yeah, it's spot so on much fucking yeah. Evil Dead the yeah. first episode of the second season holy shit there's so much blood yeah. there's like so much fucking blood like okay. <laughs> You're nice. Like there's not that much blood in a human body, <laughs> yeah. but oh yeah. god, it's it, like, but it makes it fucking like. Oh, dope. Yeah, yeah. it's fucking badass. Yeah, no, man. I didn't even know that was a like that was a thing, and then CJ told me, I was like, what? Oh shit, no, yeah, I'll check it out. So yeah. yeah. I, I, I want to say it's, it's going to be on Netflix, because I know they have a thing with stars. Oh, okay. So, But if not, I, I think... Oh, no, so yeah, if you have a, any sort of cable, it's on demand. It's on demand, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. but uh, And then, or if not, you can fucking Best Buy has them for... I think it has the, the first season for 20 bucks. Okay. Yeah, but yeah, dude, it's worth it. It's yeah, fucking yeah. good. It's oh, really sure. good. Um, Suicide Squad. Extended cut. Did you... Have you seen Suicide no. Squad? No. Why haven't I seen it? Oh, I don't know why I haven't seen it. I was... <laughs> yeah, I, I, pretty good I forgot all about it. it like we, were, somebody downloaded it when we were downrange, and like it was like a dark copy. So it was, uh, we were just like, ah, yeah. whatever. By far the best DC movie so far. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I deep. mean, and then like weeks went on, and I just totally forgot about the movie. And I, yeah, until you just said it right now, I'm like, oh shit, I haven't seen it because I really wanted to see it. Yeah, it's good. It, it, yeah, yeah it, like like you said, it's the best DC movie so far. No shit. I mean, like the first of the current. Like, I don't think it's better than the. Uh, oh, we're talking. Yeah, I'm talking about like of the current like DC when, movies. Yeah, like where people are comparing Marvel and DC right now. Well, yeah, that's, yeah. Like, what came out before that then? BVS. Yeah, Batman vs Superman. Oh, okay. And that was shite. Yeah, that was a yeah. pile of shit. That was absolute shite. I mean, you know what? I've watched it a couple times since, and it's gotten a little better. It was, like, a, it was a pile of shit, and then they released the extended cut, and then like they took off a couple of flies. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, I mean, it's gotten a little better. I, I can, I can watch it, and I, and I can see what they, they were trying the to do. Yeah, yeah. Because I heard about like I, <laughs> because... I haven't seen. I, I did see it, but then I didn't see it. I think if they it was like have... on in the background. <laughs> if they wouldn't have done the whole uh, uh, Doomsday Death of Superman thing, if they would have just done. Frank Miller's Dark Knight Returns. If they would have just done that mm-hmm. storyline, like like it seemed like they were going to do originally, uh-huh. that would have been perfect. Because it's a lot of Batman. Yeah. Superman comes in towards the end, gets his fucking ass beat. Batman dies. Fucking, yeah, you, know, yeah. you know what I mean? But then they had the whole death of Superman into it, and it's like, eh. It became too much, and like there's so much fucking going yeah, on. It's yeah. like, mm-hmm. all right, Wonder whatever. Woman comes out of nowhere. Yeah. <laughs> and... and... Fucking well, I guess it was do. just to be an intro for all the yeah. other movies. Yeah, right? it's meant to be an intro to, to uh, Justice League. Lex Luthor happens yeah. to know all the fucking emblems of every fucking superhero. <laughs> yeah. That's oh, the, really? Yeah, before they even became superheroes. Yeah, like, they don't even have emblems. They haven't like, even had their own superheroes. Yeah, super- like, like oh, he, had, he, he had like a file with a bunch of viral videos of fucking uh, oh, yeah. other things. And like the file had like a lightning bolt for the Flash. Mm-hmm. And, and like he's not even a fucking but, superhero yeah. yet. Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no costume yet, but he already has, yeah. Oh, that's funny. And then, uh, um, the Suicide Squad's good. It, it's, it's, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a team up movie. Uh-huh. But it's like, they give you enough time where each character gets their introduction. They get a good introduction. Yeah, yeah. The story's a little like, okay, because the Suicide Squad, what they are is like, it's a team of villains that. What if, like the whole they they keep saying, what if Superman came back, came out here and decided he wanted to be the king of the world? Uh-huh. What will we fucking do? You know, so like, there's this this yeah. team of villains. So that we just send these. We fuck- get this yeah. team of villains that they're all basically just like us, <laughs> yeah. except for like two of them who could like throw fire. Yeah. And they're no like, match for Superman at all, but we'll send these fuckers out. <laughs> like you know. There's like only one person who's a match for Superman. Yeah, fucking. That was Enchantress, and she's the villain. She's yeah, she yeah. becomes a villain in the movie, and so like they lose control of one of them. She goes nuts, and what's fucked up about it though is okay, so this. The chick, Amanda Waller, the one that's getting the suicide yeah. together, she's caught in the aftermath of Enchantress going nuts and fucking uh, okay. sitting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? So they send the suicide, suicide Squad in, not to stop Enchantress, but to just get Amanda Waller out. Oh, wow. Okay. And then, like, by happenstance, they're like, oh, fuck, now 
Amanda Waller's with Enchantress, so I guess we gotta go fuck this chick up. Like, yeah, they, they, you know, that's that's the only issue I have with the story. I was like, okay, they're they're here for a reason, yeah, yeah. but you're not gonna use them for that reason. You're just gonna have them go do this shit. Yeah. And then yeah. they meet, and then they, they have yeah. Anyways. And then yeah, and then once you do that reason, the person goes off and does something stupid. <laughs> yeah. And get the, and then now you have to go for the original. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> when they could have just did the re- they, like, yeah. But but the acting, I mean, Will Smith did a great job as Deadshot. Really? Yeah. Even a fucking Margot. I was I Margot was Robbie. afraid she wasn't gonna do a good job because like I have I have the notion of Harley Quinn and who she is based on who she's been in all these comics. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then all of a sudden, they're like, okay, well this is a new Har- this is a new Harley Quinn, and she's not she doesn't have the accent. She, well, she she ends up she does have the accent. She, she does she does the voice. She does the, like so she played the character really fucking well. Yeah. And I, I, I was actually really happy the way she did it. Yeah. Uh, Diablo was a dope character. They they each character was really good. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Diablo is a re- redeemed Cholo. Yeah. Yeah. His Cholo is like, I killed my family, eh? I didn't mean to. Yeah. Talks like that. <laughs> yeah, he does. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna check it out. I I, don't, I totally forgot about that movie. But actually. the the, uh, the reason I bring them up is the extended cut is coming to Blu-ray. So, oh, okay. So yeah. hopefully it answers some of the questions. Or like the loop, some of the holes in the story. Oh, okay. I mean, it's probably just gonna be all the Joker scenes they cut out. That, uh, most likely, because that's a lot of people bitched yeah, about that. Jared, he Leto, wasn't Jared Leto was like fucking pissed about that shit because they he was barely in it. Yeah, yeah. December thirteenth. Because like they filmed all this shit, they like explained stuff about his character. Yeah, and yeah. Like you just put like a bunch of man because people were making a big deal about him or just that Joker in general. I mean, yeah. I, was like, I, still, I still don't think he's that good of a Joker. I think no. But... I think he did a good job as Joker. It's just that Joker. Yeah. That version of the Joker. Yeah. It's just like... It's first of all, he's a cuckold. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he was. <laughs> and then he's like... He's, he's just he's like, like... trying to get Common to fuck, my, uh, fuck fucking Harley, Harley, Harley Quinn. Quinn. Oh, wow. He's like, you, you want my girl? And he was like... Yeah, you like, just, like, like, like you don't want to fuck her? You're disrespecting me. And he fucking killed her. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My, my favorite part though is still that scene, like, cause like when, when he calls Harley Quinn over and she's oh. all like grinding up on him, and like he's like, and Joker literally just goes, eh. like, <laughs> like he's watching, just, eh. like, he makes that noise. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> and comment, comment, the horrible actor he too. <laughs> I, I told, I was like, me and player, you, you met Brian, right? Player yeah, too? yeah, yeah. Well, uh, uh, our joke was we always used to make fun of Common in Terminator Salvation. Oh wow, well, okay. Cause yeah. he, he has a scene where like. They just come like the opening scene where you first meet Common. Like, uh-huh. there's a squad. They went out to do a mission. They come back. They're one man short. Common's uh-huh. brother. <laughs> and as as Common walks out, he's, my brother didn't make it, did he? <laughs> that was his line. Like, you yeah. know what I mean? Like, my brother didn't make it, did he? <laughs> and, and like, if if my brother went out in the squad and came back, I'd be like, you know, I'd, there'd be some <laughs> my, brother. my brother. He did. He fucking didn't make it. What yeah. The, you know, I'd be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so. In in the Suicide Squad, my favorite line from him now is, "Nah, that's yo girl. <laughs> I don't want to disrespect you." <laughs> that's funny. But yeah, that that version of the Joker, like, and then like he's hanging out in the fucking VIP of a club. Like the oh, Joker really? doesn't yeah. hang out in the VIP of yeah. fucking clubs, you know. But it was a good movie. Overall, it's a good movie. Like yeah, like yeah. the the shit, the things that we shit on are trifle things in the movie. Okay. Overall, it's a good movie. Right, right. So I'm looking forward to this uh, extended. extended version. Yep. Disney's p- pissing people off. Star Wars. Disneyland. Because oh. Because people like people like Guardians of the Galaxy, right? Yeah. Uh, so Disneyland's like, we're gonna make a fucking Guardians of the Galaxy ride. Mm-hmm. Like, why? That's awesome, right? Where are they gonna uh-huh. And everyone's like, fuck yeah! Then everyone found out that they're gonna tear down Tower of Terror. Oh. But uh, I don't know. Tower of Terror wasn't that great of a fucking ride to me. I liked it. That's one of my favorite rides in California. <laughs> California Adventure. But yeah, everyone's fucking like. Apparently, there's people picketing now and oh, no getting shit. petitions because they're like, that's it's like, like it's like the same as like a, like those extreme screams or something. Yeah, it is. But I, I think I think it's yeah. the aesthetic of the ride itself. Have you have you been on it at all? No, I've never even been to California Adventure Dude, or it, Disneyland. It, it, it's cool because <laughs> the way it's just one of those one of those things where like it just goes all the way up and uh, it's, it's an okay. elevator ride. Yeah, yeah. Dri- But the thing about it is like you get there and like there's this whole thing where it's like you're checking into the hotel and you're going through like the lines you're going through gotcha, the hotel lobby. Yeah. And like they're, you're learning the story of the hotel, and it's like it was based off the Hollywood Hotel. What came first, the ride or Hollywood. the movie? Okay. What? What came first, the ride or the movie? For. Tower of Terror. The, mo- the movie. movie. Because the the movie is based off the the actual Hollywood Hotel, mm-hmm. where like a bunch of celebrities live, and it's like a now mm-hmm. it's a shitty place. But, yeah. <laughs> but supposedely it's like extremely haunted by some oh, of Hollywood's yeah, yeah. biggest stars, and uh, so you get there, and, and what happens is like. 
they're taking you through the, the through the hotel as you're getting in line. They're telling you the stories. The the elevator was struck by lightning, and all the people that were on it were never seen again. Gotcha. And that's why there's that big hole in the side of the fucking building. You know, uh -huh. never repaired. And it's fucking crazy. But so like that's the whole build up. And then you get on the ride, and even the when you're on the elevator, there's a bit of the fucking story. You know what yeah, I mean? And yeah. Like then you get struck by lightning and you fall. And it's a cool ride. But a lot of people people are pissed because they're gonna they're gonna knock that down and yeah. make a Guardians of the Galaxy ride. Or oh, it says attraction. It doesn't say ride. So makes sense. Um, let's see here. Oh shit! Uh, Ben Affleck, the title for the his solo Batman movie. Oh, oh, so he is gonna go. He's, he's gonna he's go gonna be doing his standalone his Batman. solo Batman movie. is called Ben Affleck. It's called Ben, ben Affleck. Affleck. <laughs> it's called Batfleck. No, it's called the Batfleck. <laughs> uh, it's actually gonna be called Batman. the Batman. Ben Affleck. Ah, okay. The Batman is the name of the movie. The Batman. The Batman. The Batman. <laughs> um. And we know that Deathstroke is going to be the villain of oh, yeah. the Batman. Oh, okay. Have you seen that? Yeah. No. Okay. It's, You've seen it's, that. It's going to be McSteamy. Yeah, it's going to be the dude from... Uh, have you seen True Blood? Yeah, yeah. You know the werewolf? Oh, yeah, yeah. He's, he's going to be Deathstroke. Oh, okay. Yeah. He's also McSteamy, apparently. I've never... <laughs> what? I, 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 knew, I knew... What's his name? Oh. George Clooney. No, okay. no. I know. <laughs> I was gonna say Carlin. I meant Clooney. <laughs> I only know that. I only know this because my parents fucking watched like extra and and like uh, that oh shit my with God. fucking Mario Lopez and shit. And, and like they always talk about that guy for some reason. Like, He's just always in every fucking thing. Yeah. They um, talk about him and the fuck and the other guy. I said about that. Oh, you know how Disney's all hard for making live action movies right now. Disney. Yeah. yeah. So right now, okay, Beauty Lion, and the the, the live the live action Beauty and the Beast. They just announced live action Lion King. Really? Yeah. And uh, so now they just announced that they're gonna be doing a live action Mulan as well. Wow. Yeah. So it's they're taking... gonna be like Airbender. <laughs> it's it's, uh, yeah, it's yeah. Beauty and the Beast is gonna be with Emma Watson. Emma Watson is playing Belle. Yeah. They're probably Ooh. gonna get a white girl to play Mulan still though. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine. Oh man, people are so. Oh, pissed. people will lose their fucking yeah. shit yeah. if Disney does that. Can... Yeah. And then they'll be like, oh, we'll make her black. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, speaking of white and black, white people in China, <laughs> have you seen that Great Wall fucking trailer? There's a movie nah, called The Great Wall. Really? And fucking Matt Damon is part of the Chinese army. He's a general in the Chinese fucking army. Matt Damon. What? Yeah. I was like, what the fuck? Yeah, man? that's ridiculous. Yeah. It, it, the it's movie, pretty funny. Is it, I mean, is it a joke? or is? It... I don't know. The movie itself looks kind of cool. It's like... It shows like it's all it's like the Great Wall of China, uh -huh. and it's like in its in its prime when you know. Yeah. And there's all these fucking soldiers, and there's their torches, and they're all fucking there, and it's just pitch dark, and they can't see past the wall. Uh huh. And all of a sudden, like this fucking monster claw comes up and grabs fucking oh, somebody okay. off of it, and everyone's like, "Oh shit!" And they get, and okay, then here so comes this fucking. Not even like a, it's not like a like a historical. <laughs> no, no, it's, it's gonna be a, a sci-fi monster movie. Got it. But here comes fucking Matt uh, Matt Damon in Chinese general. armor. What's that? I guess that's I makes him more forgivable, but still, like you know what I mean? Yeah. That fucking day. and like they better have a good fucking reason for him to be in China in the first place. Yeah. Oh yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like he better be a goddamn time traveler. Yeah. <laughs> is it is it like back then when they made the, the wall or something? Yeah, that's or when what? the movie's supposed to be. Uh, okay. Like he, he's there because like they're all in the Chinese armor. Uh, the maybe he was like a Viking and then he just like sailed over there. He raked and pillaged. Yeah. Right yeah. China. And they were like, all right, you and can just settle down. Yeah. With a Chinese lady. Like he used, yeah, he used to be a slave, and then he fought everybody. He's like, I could samurai, and then he met Tom Cruise. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I was like, fuck. Like when I saw that, I was like, what the fuck? But yeah, so if they did that with Mulan, people would lose. Oh, that dude, shit. it'd be great. People would fucking that would be, because people were pissed off at the Matt Damon thing, but it was like, okay, well, yeah. it's Matt Damon. And then for the you Lion know? King, they're gonna make. Uh, Mufasa like a black dude. Well, see the thing about me, the thing we were talking about this last week is because with the live action, okay, they did the live action Jungle Book, which was oh, a decent movie. Okay. Oh, that's like right. Yeah. Hey, 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 hour later, hey, like, live yeah, big action budget. was. The only thing that was live action was fucking uh, with Mowgli. Of, yeah, yeah, Mowgli, yeah. the little kid. Why is it hot? It's like sweating balls in here. Yeah. 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 Balls Man, sweat. My butt's sweaty. Yeah. All, all the animal <laughs> condensating and whatnot were all CGI in that movie. Yeah, and, and but so, like, in Jungle the Lion Book. King movie, yeah, the Jungle Book movie. I didn't like it. But so it, in a, a live action Lion King movie, wouldn't there was it, there, there's no be humans. All CGI? Yeah. So and yeah, live does action? it count as live action? Yeah, that's what we're saying. Yeah, right? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Because if like unless they do like because like in the they because they did the Lion King the play where it was like every there was actors oh, like there were people. That's gonna be gay as fuck if it's like that. That would be super gay. Like I would. Yeah, like if they, real, they just had just like cell shaded. <laughs> like if they just had animals out there and then they had voiceovers and they just watched them in like <laughs> like in the wild. <laughs> yeah. <it's> just, <laughs> 
Yeah. Like, yeah well, uh, what were we saying? It was like, they, they, they just played the audio from the yeah. Lion yeah. King over, <laughs> over, over Wild America. <laughs> They're, they're gonna give they're gonna give a fucking a bamboo uh, a, a baboon uh, a, a baboon a lion cub and see what fucking happens. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like that, uh, <laughs> just film that shit. Isn't a grab that movie with, with, the, it? <laughs> with the pug and the cat? Uh, Milo and Otis. Milo and Otis, yeah, and that uh, like they killed like eighteen cats and like did eight, they really eight pugs or something? Oh man, because there's a scene where the pug has to fight a bear. And that bear kills the fuck out of the bug the first like ten times. <laughs> and there's a scene where the where the cat is like going down the river in a box, <laughs> and it didn't work out the first like sixteen times. <laughs> so I mean, you can make a movie. That's Holy shit! You're right. I thought you were bullshitting. You it? Yeah, I just googled it. I thought, I was just, I thought you were just like talking shit. shit. I may have uh, exactly. got the numbers wrong. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it was a lot. It was a lot of a lot of cats and dogs. They, they, how many exactly? That's um, funny. Um, it probably doesn't have an exact number either. It, it might not. It's a legend number. I gotta find it because it was it's a uh, cannibal, cannibal holocaust now. Because it's 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 like oh and yes animals were hurt. And it's like a story. Like it's not just a. It's an article like, about other movies. About all, all the movies were like, yeah, people were fucking... So instead of like, no, no animals were harmed. So what if you're yeah, making like, like a movie... All the animals were, were fucking murdered in yeah. this movie. What 20 kittens were killed in the course of filming. Ooh, fucking pitas. Holy fuck. Yeah, it's a whole field day for pita. Yeah. Pita kills pit bulls all the time. They're always just killing pit bulls. And then, and then being attacked wrong. by a crowd. They fucking... Holy shit. Tech six pugs, pugs, twenty kittens and six pugs. Oh shit! That's a what the fuck? Oh, that's that's mass suicide six or pugs. mass genocide. That's a lot of pugs. Imagine like yeah. you have six you pugs, pugs in your backyard and all. Now you have zero for, dead, for yeah. a movie. <laughs> <laughs> but okay, six, okay, six pugs is a lot. Twenty fucking kittens. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Where did they get these kittens? Like after the first five kittens, like hey, oh, maybe man. we shouldn't do this yeah, scene. This scene, this scene, yeah. this scene's this scene's not maybe we should find a little. Maybe we should figure way. it out. Maybe we should put like a string on the box, <laughs> so we don't lose. The, we kid. tried the string. When we pulled the string, the box just tipped over and drowned the cat. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, maybe like, a hoist. How about how about we just put the box in there without a kitten? And don't film inside the box. <laughs> yeah. We just can add the meow yeah. sound effects yeah. later. Be in no danger. Uh, nah, it doesn't work, bro. Well. Yeah. It doesn't have the same effect. <laughs> we can we cut need to that a close emotional up on the box, effect. Splash some water at it yeah. as the yeah. kid's, kitten's peeking out. It doesn't have to be in the fucking water, man. <laughs> and the director's like, nah, fuck these fuck kittens. Kids. Get it in the fucking box. Put it in the goddamn river. <laughs> just put ten kittens in the box. At least one of them has to survive. <laughs> Holy shit. 20 fucking kittens and six pugs. That's a fucking massacre. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's like fucking like... Uh, like ridiculous. They were trying to fucking wipe out kittens off yeah. the face of the earth. And pugs just happened to get in the way. <laughs> Poor dogs. Cats are infesting. Yeah. God damn. It's infesting fucking kitten this, season. The studio. Those are probably... And man, they're not even the, probably the main actor. It was just... Well, they were... They were stunt kittens, but still, yeah, yeah, stunt kittens. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, they don't. So get they don't even kid. have a name. They get paid at in kibble. <laughs> <laughs> shit. You know. Dude, like, like, okay, and, I, and seriously, twenty fucking kittens. 20? That, like, that's, that's a lot. That's a lot. Yeah. That's like. That's like five rows of five. <laughs> <laughs> five. <laughs> or five rows of four. Like, but what the, else? Like how? Like. That's like if we do we're watching NFL, right? Earlier, we, <laughs> yeah. If we're watching NFL, only two guys on the field survive. Yeah. 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 And like if someone threw a grenade. I That's like know. if the Last Supper was <laughs> yeah, there, there would be nobody there at the Last Supper. A lot of yeah. <laughs> and only the two safeties survive. Yeah. Cause they're far away. <laughs> it's like that scene from Batman when the stadium explodes and that one dude's just fucking running. <laughs> Except there's two of them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 20 kids. That's a how like. Fuck, dude. I hope somebody fucking Pretty went to hell for that shit. Like, yeah. <laughs> that's 20 fucking kittens. I just allowed that to happen. Yeah. Like, how like It was that... probably the same people who killed Brandon Lee. That's gotta be a fucking depressing ass movie. Yeah. Set. Probably did they film that. I think they filmed that in China. <laughs> that's gotta be a depressing movie set, though, the man. Like, oh, movie. yeah. They just keep killing. Killing kittens. Yeah. Like, every day a kitten dies. Oh, but you know, the, the, the cast probably doesn't know, even huh? know. Like, it's only the director. <laughs> like, some guy called in sick and he came in the next day and he was like, oh, how'd yesterday go? And they're like, Five kittens died. <laughs> it, it wasn't a good day. <laughs> really? Five? 
Only one died today. It was a good day. Yeah. <laughs> we, only, we only lost one today. So hopefully, you know, things are looking up. Maybe we'll get this scene. I don't know. I think this next one's going to be the one. I don't know. We got a take, but we need to get two more takes at least. <laughs> we need at least two more good yeah. takes. Imagine, like, the first take was perfect. They were just, <laughs> yeah. they were just doing it because they wanted to make sure to see... They needed at least one. two more good takes. Yeah, they had, yeah. <laughs> It's, ang- it's, it's the angles, you know, yeah. and our movie yeah. says it's all about the angles. So a, oh, you know, there's a master shot. There's. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, fucking A. Well, how is that? See, what they saying? don't tell you is is actually 15 of those kittens were killed by the director while he was in his trailer masturbating. Ah. <laughs> 15 of <laughs> them. He had a smush fetish and he was just sitting yeah. there stomping on kittens and beating off. Yeah. <laughs> on that note yeah <laughs> that's a good that's a, that's a good hour right? yeah fuck your yankee blue jeans fuck your yankee blue jeans you should throw throw a plug out to your band oh yeah yeah, yeah. my band it's called war boy we're out of ontario nice uh the band's been around for a while i just joined the band so like i gotta practice all the songs but we want to start playing shows locally and then so play eventually with, uh, we'll play who everywhere you, who, are you who are you who are you huh? playing oh i'm the drummer you're the drummer yeah. I play the drums. Yeah. Who, are you play, who are you gonna play with? We're gonna play with X. Oh yeah, you guys are gonna yeah. play with X <laughs> yeah. in, in April. Yeah, in April. <laughs> but no, just on a serious note, we want to start playing by like December. So nice. You hear the name War Boy. Well, let, let us War know Boy. when you when you're gonna do some shows. We'll fucking. Oh hell yeah! All three sure. people that listen. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, we all know. the support will will take it. But we're actually we're a pretty good decent like old school punk band. It's, nice. Yeah. Nice. So. So. You guys check. like bands like TSOL and. You guys have like a like a like a Facebook page or like Twitter yeah yeah oh yeah um, just type in War Space Boy in Facebook on Facebook yeah what about tweeters uh no no Twitter no tweeters no Instagrams yet okay we do have a a Bandcamp uh so if you go to Warboy uh dot Bandcamp dot com uh you can go ahead and download the two EPs we have nice um for free so two go EP. and check it out um yeah and that's where the fuck your Yankee Blue Jeans that's one of our songs nice. that's where it came from. Are are you on said EPs or is no it, no he uh, they recorded right before yeah he, okay. he, he was he uh they're recorded in March and then in August okay and then um he was actually he uh it was one dude he did it all by himself holy shit yeah so I mean the music's already there and he was just looking for people to play okay, okay. um he did both the bass guitar and he did the drums and uh oh shit so he was just looking for a drummer and I found him on Craigslist because I'm a creeper <laughs> and so I was like oh this dude's you looking break from looking for trannies yeah i was like man none of these girls want to meet with me let me see if this this, no, 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 this no. actual dude wants to meet with me none of my misconnections are <laughs> yeah, to me. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah and then we met up we had our first practice and it went fucking super well because uh he told me to learn some songs so i learned a bunch of songs that we had and uh yeah so there you go look out go check them out thanks and on that note what about your yankee blue jeans commercials what are you talking about <laughs> you really did uh